a good number in this room. Thank you. That, that makes me feel good. Okay. Here's what's at stake with issue one. It might sound like a boring issue or whatever to a lot of people on the ballot. No, no, no. This is the great reset reaching Ohio in our own home turf in our backyard. Okay, what are they trying to do? Right now, the way our districts are set are by a group of basically statewide elected officials. A majority of statewide elected officials set our districts right now. You don't like them. You don't like the way they do it or they don't do other things. Maybe the Republicans, they do a bad job. The people of the state can vote them out of office. That's self-governance. That's a constitutional republic. Backstopped by our democratic will at the ballot box. That's how it's supposed to work. That's how it works right now. They want to change that. To say that, no, 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 we don't want we the people to be able to decide how our state is governed. No, we're going to create a class of unelected bureaucrats who cannot be removed by the voters. Even if they commit a felony, they can't be voted out by voters. They can only be voted out by their fellow Anthony Fauci S bureaucrats. So the question is, do you want Ohio run? My friend Jim Jordan, I saw his picture up there. He's, he's captured it better than anybody else. Do you want 16 Anthony Fauci's running the state of Ohio, or do you want it to actually belong to we the people? That's the choice we have. It gets worse than that. Not only can you not vote these unelected bureaucrats out, which is itself anti-American. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. If you dare to speak to one of those individuals about anything relating to redistricting, you're effectively committing a crime that they will report you to the government for having the gall to speak to them about it. That's a First Amendment violation. So here's the thing about issue one. Even if it passes, it's going to get overturned by the Supreme Court. It's a First Amendment violation hiding in plain sight. Why do it the long way and waste all the money when we can just do it the right way at the ballot box this time around? That's why voting no on issue one is critical. It's a, it's a Democrat-led scheme to turn Ohio blue. It's an extra constitutional means outside the bounds of the Constitution. And I can't even make this stuff up. It sounds like you, you, would, you would have to imagine these possibilities. You couldn't even imagine it, that some Swiss billionaires putting $5 million in Ohio. I mean, what the hell does he care about the way we're running our elections if this weren't part of a broader, really global scheme for which Ohio is just the beginning, the tip of the spear? And if they do it here, they're going to do it everywhere. And so, yes, we're going to win with Donald Trump and J.D. Vance.